Hey Gifted Crafters, welcome back to my channel. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Nancy with Gifts HQ. Now, this video is gonna be a little bit different than what I've done previously. I just got back from a trip from Houston, Texas, where I attended a wedding. And of course, while I was there, I visited some fabrics and sewing stores. And I just wanna share with you a couple of things that I found that were truly exciting. And I thought it would be great to just share that with you. So let's get started. Now, one of the first places that I visited was a sewing and vacuum warehouse. They have two locations. They're located in Houston and in Conroe. This is their card. And they were a pretty neat place. They had a ton of machines, sewing machines, embroidery machines. You can kind of browse around the store and just try out all of the machines. So it was pretty neat. And of course, I was there quite a while. They had tons of notions and fabrics, and I really enjoyed my time there. So one of the things that I also noticed is that they do have events. for So for people in that area that want to attend, they were having an event. This was a two-day event. This is a hands-on workshop. Looks like they were gonna show how to embroider applique and do tote bags. So it's pretty neat event. Um, it includes a bonus gift and a lunch, and you just had to like register for the event. Unfortunately, the event was after I've already left Houston, so I wasn't able to attend. But for those of you in that local area, you may wanna check it out because it looked pretty cool. So some of the things that I found in the store were a lot of notions. And I'm just gonna share some of the things that I picked up. One of the first things, let me just start off with the Brother Bobbin Thread. If you've seen some of my videos from before, they're kind of hard to come by just in the single pack. I've seen the five packs, but they just had the single packs and, and I kind of like, this is a number 60 Brother. It's the Bobbin Thread and it, it just is really full and it really lasts a long time for me. So this was just one that I picked up and I just thought it was pretty neat. Another item that I did get were bobbin holders. These are really handy. I can just show one for you. Let me just get one out. What they do is you kind of just sit them inside of the thread and then you're able to put the matching bobbin that goes with that thread. And it's a really a neat way to organize yourself could see here in the picture how they have the thread and then the bobbin on top. I really think that this is just a great way to get yourself organized and keep your bobbins and the thread colors together because I know I kind of struggle with sometimes I you know put away the thread and then I know that I had a bobbin with the you know matching color and then I can't find it anywhere so this is a great way to keep it all together this was about it's nine dollars and 99 cents and it comes 12 pieces in a bag which was enough for, for me for right now but I thought it was a pretty neat idea and you can probably find these in other places but I found them really handy the other item that I found, and these are a little more difficult to come by, was the open toe quilting foot. Now this foot, it costs $39.99 at the place that I got it. I'm sure you may be able to find it in other places, but it is real difficult for me to find an open toe one. Now there is a difference between the open toe and the regular foot that you'll find. Some people may call them a darning foot, so you'll see different names for it, but pretty much the open Open toe has a lot of different pros and cons between using a closed toe quilting foot and an open toe quilting foot. You know, some of the pros I can tell you will be like visibility. So when you're actually sewing it, you could see what is coming in to the foot as you're sewing along the way. The other thing is just precision, getting it right on the actual line that you want to hit when you're doing your quilting and just getting access to the bobbin thread. When you have that open-toed foot and you bring that needle up, you can capture 
You can see that the bobbin thread comes up and capture it easily when you want to bring it up and when you're quilting your, your item. So I think that is really neat. Now there is a con to it. Sometimes when you are using an open toe foot and you are quilting on the edge of your fabric, sometimes the open toe foot can get caught underneath it. So you do have to be careful when you are using this open toe foot on the edge of your quilting but I do find it to be beneficial as well. You can use either one. It doesn't impact, you know, how the sewing is gonna look like. It's still gonna be the same. The quilting will all be the same. It's just really a matter of preference. So I wanted to go ahead and get that so I can kind of make my own decisions on which one I found to be better. So the other item that I got was the KK2000. This is made by the brand name Sulky and it's a small can. It went for $15.99. I thought it was a little pricey, but this brand, a lot of people recommend. So I wanted to give this one a try. I just use other ones that I can get locally. I couldn't find this in my local Walmart, so I got a different brand, but that one seemed to work fine. But I am anxious to try this one out to see what the results are on this one and do some comparisons. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to record that in the video so you guys can see the difference between the KK2000 Sulky, this is the temporary adhesive spray, and just some generic brands that I got at my local Walmart. And let me know if you want to see that and I'll, I can put that out for you. Okay, let's see. I think that was everything from that sewing and vacuum store other than the fabrics. And this is where the fun part comes in. So while I was there, I was able to pick up some fabrics, but I mostly picked up panels. And for those of you that are not too familiar with quilting, you'll know that you can get your fabrics, but you can also get a panel and make a quilt out of the panel. So I went ahead and got this one. It was on sale since it's a Christmas, you know, holiday related one, but I wanted to give it a try. And let me just kind of hold this up as best as I can to see if you can see this. Now, what you can do with these panels is you can just kind of take this whole panel the way it is and you can just quilt around it to create your other border and kind of hang it or use it as a quilt. Or what other people have done is they will cut around each panel here and make that a separate quilt. So you could have, you know, right here, this would be two separate quilts or you could just make this a one big table runner going this way and cut it off this way and then just do a binding around it. Or you could leave the panel the way it is completely and then just quilt the borders around it. And you can have pretty much, this is like about a crib size quilt. So it's pretty neat, but I thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead and got that. It did get it at a really good price. So we wanted to just share that with you. Oh, and this fabric is by, let's see. I can get to the end of this by Marcos Fabrics. That is the designer of this fabric. So if you're interested, looks like it's marcusfabrics.com or you can check your local fabric store to see if they're carrying it. Okay, so that is one. Now, the second fabric that I found is also a panel. And this one I thought was pretty neat because it does remind me of the UK. So it says Downtown Abbey and they have different sayings here. I am a woman, I can be as contrary as I choose. Alas, I am beyond, you know, it's, it's just a whole bunch of different sayings that I thought were pretty neat. I love the colors. So I thought this was something that we could, you know, just try to use as some type of a project. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this just yet, but it's something that I think was pretty neat. If you have any ideas for me, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm kind of willing to see what I can do with this. 
Now the third item, third item was not a panel. This is just the fabrics again. It was one that I had on sale, so I went ahead and got it. I thought it was really cute. It had some reindeers and houses and hearts on there. So I thought it was a really cute fabric. You know, Christmas is a little bit ways away, but it's never too early to start. So starting to gather up my fabrics and see what projects I can come up with for this Christmas. And that was everything from the sewing and vacuum store. So the second store that I visited was also in Conroe, and that store was called Quilter's Quarters. And in that store, I didn't get any notions, but they had tons of fabrics and quilts. And they had, the quilts were kind of just hanging all around the store. I thought they were absolutely beautiful, but I couldn't go too, too crazy on the fabrics because, you know, I did have to fly to get to Texas. So didn't want my luggage to get into that much overweight. I only got a couple of things, but I really loved the store. I thought it was pretty neat. So some of the things that they had, they had these big barrels and you could buy the fabric. They had them priced at some at 25 cents. Like this was 25 cents because it's a very small piece of fabric. But you know, if you just want to pick up different little things, this is something I could use like an applique or, you know, any little thing, little projects, you know, can make a little coin purse with this. You know, you can invent a lot of ideas, but this is something that I thought was neat. And, you know, I just picked up some random fabrics that I just thought they were really pretty. This other one here was of a sewing machine. And I thought that was a little antique-ish looking, but it's really cute. I can see myself doing something really cute for that. This actually might be for myself. <laughs> the next one I have, I just really like the colors. And this was a small one as well. I think this one was, if I remember right, it was maybe a $1.50 or something because they're small pieces of fabrics, but you know. Let's see, this one is Norman White Signatures was the name. And I just like the colors. Not sure what I'm gonna be making with this, but again, I'm open to ideas. So go ahead and let me know what you think I should make on these. This one I thought was just cute. I could see doing a really fun little pouch. They had these little owls. I thought that was really pretty. And this one, was again, just a small panel, something I could help use to coordinate some of the other fabrics that I had. And this one I thought was pretty neat. I think it has a, like a little bit of metallic to it. It has like some metallic thread. It's something that's a little shiny. This one, I can't tell. I think it's just Canvas is the name. BertNarksTex.com pattern is what it says on here, but not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what it has down on the bottom. But I thought it was a really pretty color and I like the little shine that it has to it. So this is something that I can add to some of my current projects. So I just wanted to snag a little piece of that. Now, what I really got excited about when I was at the store is they, they had a couple of things because, you know, we were in Texas. So <laughs> it was time to kind of look at what they had. And of course, I was looking for fabric that kind of related to Texas. Now this is six fat quarters. It cost $18 and I haven't opened it yet. So I'm trying to see if I can get this open now so we can take a look at these fabrics together. Let's see, have it a little tight. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at these. They looked adorable. Oh, so cute. Let me make a little bit more space here. Push these over to the side. This is adorable. Cowboy hats. How cute is that? Does that say Texas or what? <laughs> I think that's adorable. I could definitely make something really cute with that. Now, I had a lot of family with me, and one of the things that they had hanging as one of their displays was a baby bib. And it was kind of a 
little country western type of bib. It was really cute and I, I think it coordinated with some of these fabrics. So I think I'm gonna try to make one for a family member of mine and I think she'll really enjoy it. So here's one with just some cowboy boots on it. And this one doesn't have the name. I don't have the selvage on here, so I'm not sure who the designer was, but you may wanna see if you could find this elsewhere if you're really interested. Let's see what else they had. Oh, this is cute. Little trucks. Really cute. This looks like it would be a coordinating type fabric. So this could go if you are looking to coordinate this with something else this would be like the backing but it's really cute of course nothing is better in texas than a horseshoe that's a neat one and i like the color this would really go well with even just any of these that i just outlined here and here's another one it looks like it has some kind of rope or on here so that's pretty neat kind of like a western type look so i thought they were pretty neat i think the second one is pretty much the same i don't see too much of a difference but i got two of them just to make sure i had enough fabric for whatever project i was gonna do but definitely really really cute fabrics if you're into that kind of country western type thing we were in texas so i said hey you know gotta give it a try so one other thing that I really liked about this Quilter's Quarter store was they had little projects that you could pick up and they were totally free. And this was a zip tie skirt. So I thought that was a little odd, but hey, you know, you gotta try everything, right? So what I really liked about it is they're free and it does have the fabric requirements that you'll need for this project. And it did have, let me just open it up here. It has, like I said, the fabric requirements. And this was just a picture of the actual project. And then it has the instructions and they're pretty detailed. So I thought that was really nice. And it also has the template that you'll need for the project. So it's a really, cute little project that you can put together and they give it away for free and they had little different ones all around the store and I thought that was really nice to be able to just kind of you know find a little quick project to do because sometimes you're just looking for ideas so I thought that was neat so I just picked this one up and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with a zip tie skirt but hey you know you never know <laughs> you might need a zip tie skirt somewhere right <laughs> who knows <laughs> it does say that you can this is a reversible skirt to be worn over leggings tights or bare legs just too cute so hey this is something i might try you never know it'll be something cute and we'll see how it comes out so the other thing and this is the last thing that i purchased from quilters quarters is the Annie's quilting book. This is a pot holders for all seasons. And I just fell in love with some of the projects that were in here. I mean, guys, look at this. This is just too cute. I mean, a chicken pot holder. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, really? <laughs> they had some really cute ones in here and they have like the templates that go with it. And this is just a, a little camper. I mean, how cute is that to dress up your kitchen, you know? So I thought these were really cute projects and I wanted to just get the little book. I know that this book, Annie's Quilting, you can find it in Joann's. I did purchase another book from the same Annie's Quilting and it was on pot holders as well, but it had a different, you know, different types on there but I thought it was really nice and I really loved the ones, the designs that were on here. So I thought it was cute. I think it was $9.99 for the book. So I went ahead and purchased that. And that was everything from Quilters Quarters and Texas. So the other thing that I did get is I did order a couple things from Amazon. And these are spool savers. Some people call them spool huggers. 
I think they're really neat. They come with a hundred pieces in the bag. I've already used a couple already. And this is just an example of them. And they're just, you know, really plastic things that just kind of hug your thread. I know that my threads were always a mess because the embroidery thread is synthetic. So it doesn't really have anything to, you know, hold on to it. So it would just kind of fall. Even though I had it in my thread holder, it would just kind of fall. So these huggers really like hold it in place so that the threads are not all over the place. So it keeps you a little bit more organized. So I thought it was just a really neat thing for me to stay organized for myself. So I picked up a packet of these, got them on Amazon. They're pretty uh, low price. I think they were under $20. I don't remember the exact price on that. But the other thing I did when I came back home, I did stop in Hobby Lobby and just picked up a couple of random fabrics. Here's just one that I got. It's just, it's a 4th of July theme. It's got some bicycles on there. Thought, ah, eh, this would be something really cute. I might be able to whip up for the 4th of July. So who knows? But what I really fell in love with was this fabric right here. I absolutely love the colors. I love fall colors. That's really like my ultimate season that I like. So these have all the colors that I like. These colors right here. Not sure. I think this is going to be a bag is what I'm going to try to make with this. And I just I just love the colors. So something that was really cute. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if this is something that had just came out. Again, I just got back and I, you know, randomly went in there and saw it and picked it up. But if you like it, you know, you might want to check out your local Hobby Lobby store to see if they have it as well. But really cute. Let me see if I can find you the designer name. It really just says Hobby Lobby. No, my mine doesn't have it. it. Looks like it got cut off, so I don't know the name of it, but I did pick it up in Hobby Lobby, so you might be able to check it out there. And the last one, of course, I saw this and I had to get it. It's just a little farmhouse. I thought this would, you know, kind of tie in with all the other things that I got from Texas with the rodeos and the cowboy theme. So picked it up as well and just figured, you know, why not? Let me just throw this one in there, too. So that is it, guys. That's everything that I was able to pick up while I was in Conroe, Texas. And I enjoyed the Houston area. Really beautiful there. The wedding was gorgeous as well. And I just want to thank you guys for your support and everything that you guys do. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So for those of you that are using the social media sites like Facebook. We do have a Facebook group. It's Gifts HQ USA. Just try to, you know, join us. You know, we share a lot of tips and tricks and all kinds of ideas and things that we chat among each other for any type of crafting items, sewing, embroidery, you know, anything that you like to get some help with. We're there for you. We like to help out all our of fellow crafters. So please join us. And that's about all I have for today. So thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please don't forget to please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a lot. And I really enjoyed sharing the information with you and showing all the materials. So thank you so much for joining and I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye. It's giveaway time. So let me explain to you how you can enter. There's only four simple steps. One, watch my video from start to finish. Two, post a non-offensive comment. Now, any comment we deem to be offensive will be disqualified. Three, give the video a thumbs up. And four, be an open subscriber so we can verify that you're subscribed to us. And hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now, let me explain how the giveaway works. So for today's giveaway, you have a chance to win the book, Pot Holders for All Seasons. I really love the projects in there, so I just had to share it. This giveaway will be open till July 31st, and I will be randomly picking a comment from this video. Now, since when I was in Texas, please put the word Texas in the form of a sentence in your comment below. Now, this will only be open to the viewers in the US, the winner will be posted in the description of this video and pinned to the top comment by us. 
Beware of scammers, guys. We will never message you to tell you that you won. The winner will have five days to contact us through our email address, giftshq.usa at gmail.com. For more details, please see the description below. And that's it, folks. Y'all come back now. And I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye.